So recently on the floor I found some like black gungy stuff and I wasn't sure where it had come from and it turns out that these boots the rubber's all deteriorated and gone really soft and sticky and it's all coming apart so I thought well these are sort of steel toe cap boots there I think they've got other other aspects to them as well to protect your feet so I thought well let's, let's tear down a pair of boots so let's go So they're just sort of normal leather boots. They've got like a rubber sole. Uh, I think there's a steel toe cap in here. Or some kind of toe cap. But what I noticed with these, because this is all coming apart, there's also a steel, look at that. There's a steel plate in there, but look. It's just absolutely disintegrated. And this stuff, it sort of treads in, it's sticky, so I had a load of that get on the carpet and make a right mess, which is why I've got cardboard on the bench. So let's see how far back this metal plate goes. Oh, that's interesting, there's some kind of a, almost an elasticated strap in there. if this goes across the whole shoe. So I think this is so that you've got protection against standing on nails and screws that are sticking up out of things. Something which I have actually done before in normal trainers. It's just peeling apart this. Oh, who says I've got no sole? Anyway, yeah that's also part of that. It must be some kind of reinforcement to keep this metal from busting through I guess. I'm not sure but yeah it's really really disintegrated. That's just a thin piece of steel. I wonder how much protection that would actually give. It feels quite like spring steel which I guess it would need to be so that the bending didn't fatigue it and spring steel tends to be quite tough as well. Let's see what else we can discover. This is just peeling away like jelly. It's a bit like the consistency of them jelly sweets that you get. Oh yeah, the, the steel toe is in the the leather part, even the um, the rubber on the toe is peeling off and disintegrating. Yeah. Not sure how we can get into there. I think this is all leathery. Yeah. Oh no, that's the um, the insole there. It's all coming away. And so we've got oh, it's actually a like a lining, so yeah. So we've got this black insole that would be under your feet, and then this is like a I guess it's like a thermal lining of some sort, a soft lining just to make the inside of the shoe a bit more comfortable on the toes. And then in here, oh yeah that's coming away now. Oh, look at that. That's some kind of plastic which I think is perhaps a transition into from the the leather to the metal so there's not a hard ridge there because that would probably uh, mess the top of your toes up otherwise but even that's it's all splitting and deteriorating that's a, a good chunk of steel 
got some numbers on it. Uh, I don't know if that's a date code, it says 1998 down here somewhere. So they're quite old if that is the case, it's quite possible. Yeah. Oh, and there's the. There's an ins that's actually the insole then. So the insole's separate. And that was just the bottom lining of the the shoe before you get this again, some of this sort of like an insulative layer <coughs> that's attached to all the leather. I assume that was glued on in some way. Interesting how that's all been. I just can't see all this crap in the way. That's all been cut like little strips so that it all kind of like meshes together like that. It's quite clever really. And then I guess that's glued or attached however it is. Maybe the rubber's just formed straight onto it and it binds it all together. Interesting. Yeah, the straps are an interesting feature. I guess it is to do with that metal plate, just to keep it in check. And you've got full protection across the bottom of your foot. And just a thinner piece of leather there for the bit to cover the laces. Quite good really because that's one continuous piece there so you're not going to get wet going in. Some of the other boots I've got aren't like that and they're that's separate so you've got a gap so it'd be easier to get wet and muck and well if you're working on stuff uh, any crap down there yeah some other markings there yeah. so I've got a pair of laces my other boots actually need some laces so maybe I can at least <laughs> recycle them Let's see if this one's as bad oh yeah jello type consistency again and then we've got that strap again yeah these are totally had it even new shoes I found um well I've actually got a pair that haven't gone but the person that gave me them they had some that was just sat around in the box and they weren't particularly old and they they went like this all decomposed which is why I got mine out of the box and started using them. So I hope they at least get some use. Might as well just get the metal out and chuck it in the recycling pile that I'm making. So that's, that's quite well bonded at the back there to the shoe. It's not coming away. Really well bonded, actually. It takes some getting off that. And these straps are very strong as well. So this one doesn't appear to have deteriorated quite as much as that one, but it's not too far behind it. Look, I see it's got like a crazed patterning to it as it's as soon as you start applying pressure it all splits apart along those crazing lines. Same again. flick everywhere really. Yeah same same codes on that toe. Yeah I think that's about it. Not very often I bother to wear gloves but I think this instance uh, absolutely justified. So there you go. A tear down of some boots. Who'd have thought it? <laughs>